Prince Charles was incredibly sad that he had not met his granddaughter, Lilibet, claimed royal expert Nick Boleyn, before Prince Harry dashed hopes again by deciding against returning to the UK for Prince Philip's memorial service. Charles and his wife Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall, are visiting the Irish Cultural Centre, ICC, in Hammersmith today to celebrate its 25th anniversary in the run, up to St. Patrick's Day. The royal couple will visit the centre and learn of its history and art from curator Barbara Stanley. Charles and Camilla will also be invited to play an instrument with the traditional musicians who frequent the ICC and then they will each pull a pint of Guinness in the bar. The Prince of Wales is engaged in a busy month of royal duties, which will culminate in a memorial service in London for the Duke of Edinburgh on March 29. Charles' younger son Harry, however, will not be attending Philip's memorial, according to his spokesperson. Though a reason was not given for the planned absence, Harry is currently in a legal battle against the Home Office after the government ruled that the Sussexes would no longer receive the same degree of police protection when visiting the UK. Harry's legal representative had previously told the High Court that the Prince is eager for his children to visit the UK, but he does not feel safe when visiting under current circumstances. This means Charles will have to wait a while longer before meeting his granddaughter Lilibet for the first time in person. The Prince of Wales is said to be incredibly sad about the tension between the Sussexes and the rest of the royal family, which has led to Charles not having met Lilibet. Mr. Bullen told US Weekly in September. I think Prince Charles really wants to meet his granddaughter. Prince Charles is incredibly sad about everything that's gone on. So the family will want to meet each other. However, the royal expert added that June's Platinum Jubilee celebrations in honor of the Queen's 70 year reign could offer the perfect backdrop for reconciliation. A four day bank holiday is scheduled between June 2nd and June 5th, and will include a service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral and a special live concert at Buckingham Palace. Mr. Bullen continued. The Jubilee is a perfect opportunity for that because if Harry and Meghan do come back, because they have to be seen supporting the Queen, it's a great moment for everyone to be together. And everyone's going to have to play nicely and behave well because it's the Queen's moment. All the members of the royal family are very aware of the fact that it's her year. They're going to support her, and the headlines shouldn't be about them. Harry and his wife Meghan Markle live in Montecito, California with their two children, Archie and Lilibet. The Sussexes quit the royal family and moved abroad in 2020, and since Harry has only returned to the UK twice, for his grandfather Philip's funeral in April 2021, and to unveil a statue of his late mother Princess Diana in July. Last June, however, Meghan gave birth to Lilibet, who is eighth in the line of succession to the throne, and named after the Queen's family nickname. Harry and Meghan's decision to quit royal life came after two years of struggling in the role and feeling unsupported by the firm, they revealed in their interview with Oprah Winfrey last year. However, it has been claimed that the way they went about quitting, and the fact they have aired their dirty laundry multiple times in interviews since, has widened the rift with the royals still further. In the couple's tell, all CBS interview with Oprah last March, Harry admitted that he and his father were no longer in contact. The Duke of Sussex said, I feel really let down because has been through something similar. He knows what pain feels like. I will always love him. There is a lot of hurt that's happened. I will make it one of my priorities to heal that relationship. In a subsequent interview for Apple TV, documentary The Me You Can't See, Harry said he wanted to break the cycle of pain and suffering when bringing up his own children. The Duke of Sussex claimed he had endured some form of pain or suffering because of his father's experiences growing up. It is believed that the pair have talked since, but that the wounds have not been entirely healed.